So, good morning, everyone. Welcome to this event in Barcelona. We are here today in the European Culture and Creativity Days Barcelona that has been hosted by EIT Culture and Creativity, by our friends of Eurecat, hosts of the CLC, the Collocation Center Southwest, and with the support of the Ministry of Culture of the Government in Catalonia and uh, Barcelona Activa and the City of Barcelona. So today we have a very exciting agenda and we will start right away because we are a bit already late. So um, I want to introduce right now uh, Carmen Paez Soria, who is General Director of Cultural Industries, Intellectual Property and Cooperation from the Ministry of Culture and Sport of the Government of Spain. Carmen, please, a warm welcome. Buenos días. Uy, no pensaba yo que hablar tan alto. Buenos días. Good morning. Buen día a Tom. The usual way to begin an opening speech of an institutional event like this is to start thanking the organizers of the event. And on this occasion, I will follow this custom not only out of habit, but because I consider especially relevant that this event is being held precisely on these days on these days and in this place. Today, we are in the Cibernarium located in the heart of Poleno, a district of Barcelona that, from its historic industrial past, has become one of the greatest centers of technological innovation in Mediterranean Europe, undergoing a process of social and urban reconversion widely recognized and admired. And we are doing so on particular suitable dates given that we are at the halfway of the six months Spanish presidency of the, European, of the Council of the European Union. And because it coincides with the celebration of Barcelona Design Week, design conceived as a fundamental element of innovation and creativity in the cultural and technological sectors. The Spanish Ministry of Culture and Sports is clearly and decisively committed to conceiving all its action through the prints of six interrelated concepts, tradition, memory, heritage, innovation, future, and modernity. There is no future without them. There is no future without tradition, innovation without memory, or modernity without heritage. In addition, the Ministry of Culture and Sports, through its specific Department of Cultural Industries, is also fairly committed to the approach in which culture and technology go hand in hand and leave behind the classic dichotomy between humanistic culture and scientific studies. We originally need to break down the barriers between humanistic and science and establish communicating vessels between both of them and lead projects in which creativity and innovation have a structural nature. The cultural industries are precisely the ones that can and should lead this concept because they carry in their DNA both their cultural component and technological and industrial component. For the first time, culture has in its hands the opportunity to be a benchmark for other industrial and economic sectors, and it's necessary to take advantage of it and work for it. As you are well aware, Barcelona has been designated by European Culture and Creativity as one of its six co-location centers throughout Europe, a center that brings together Spain, Portugal, and the south of France. This CLC has Eurocat at its founder and hosts and acts as a key node for connecting the different actors involved in the European region. Of particular importance was the formation of the European EC Consortium, and the fact that it was selected by the EIT to promote the European culture and creative industries, and with the aim of forming the Ninth Knowledge and Innovation Community, KIC, and even more, that Eurocat is part of it. We are aware of the fragmentation of a small size of cultural companies, especially in Southern Europe, where almost 90% of these companies are SMEs or micro enterprises. 
Therefore, it is especially important that there is a European consortium that mitigates the negative effects that this atomization entails for the development of innovation. Creativity is evident and vibrant, and so it is the will to innovate. Joining forces to maximize both through the consortium will yield visible results in the very near future. It is clear that the European Union, with its many initiatives, is committed also to the development of the cultural industries in their different aspects, and more in the last years. It is also true that one of the strategic ob objectives of the, Hispanic, uh, sorry, of the Spanish Ministry of Culture is to create a powerful sector of creative and innovative cultural industries. And it's also clear that Barcelona has the knowledge, the infrastructure, and the talent to be the focus of these objectives, and especially in the audiovisual sector, due to its recognized tradition in this field and its enormous potential for growth and future development. For all this reason, our aim is to turn the CLC in Barcelona into a European benchmark for audiovisual projects and virtual environments, based on creativity, based on innovation, and with a cultural aim, without implying of course, neglecting direct the rest of their sectors of the cultural industries. We would like to develop a joint agenda between the European, Spanish, and local authorities so that the articulation of this focus of Southern Europe around the audiovisual and virtual environments becomes a palpable, palpable reality. Finally, I would like to invite you to enjoy the beauty of this city. Barcelona has managed to make urban beauty the beauty of, of its architecture, but undoubtedly also the beauty of its public space and a sign of its own identity. Aware that this beauty is not only an aesthetic pleasure, but is an instrument for the social and cultural development of the cities and also for social inclusion. Because the beauty of a city is not only the beauty of its heritage, but also the richness of its public space and its creative talent. So, Y ya para acabar, me gustaría agradecer especialmente a Eurecat la invitación al Ministerio de Cultura y Deporte, agradecer y disculp perdón, disculpar por parte del propio ministro Miquel Iceta, que le hubiera gustado estar aquí esta mañana, pero que lamentablemente no ha podido acompañarnos por cuestiones de agenda, y transmitirnos a todos el mayor éxito del proyecto. Muchas gracias y buenos días. I notice I forgot to introduce myself. I am Patricia Castillo. I am Interim Chief Communication and Engagement Officer of EIT Culture and Creativity. But two nights ago, I was part of Eurecat. <laughs> and uh, together, we took part uh, for many, many years. And, and, and I w I'm also very grateful for uh, standing to this project and, 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 and making this possible. For, for this reason, I am very happy to introduce Daniel Altimiras, president of Eurecat. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to stand before you today as the president of Eurecat, and it brings me immense pleasure to welcome you to this remarkable event. Eurecat as partner and host of the Collocation Center Southwest of the EAT Culture and Creativity has taken the initiative to organize this significant gathering. First and foremost, I would like to extend our gratitude to the Director General on behalf of the Ministry of Culture, as well as the Generalitat and the City of Barcelona for this support. It is this support that has been enabled us to come together today to present the EAT Culture and Creativity and explore its realms. And of course, let me also thank the representatives and officers of the European Commission and the European Institute of Technology that have been and are being in close collaboration with us in this exciting project. I would also like to express our gratitude to the partners who have not only contributed to the organization of this event, but have shared their expertise as speakers. Your trustiness, dedication, and insights have been invaluable. Moreover, I must recognize the extraordinary collaborative spirit of the EIT culture and creativity teams, as well as the diligent individuals here at Eurecat. 
Together, we have joined forces to ensure of the success of this event, which embodies the spirit of teamwork that is at the heart of our mission. The culture and creativity industries stack in the backbone of our work at Eurecat, a technological center where we apply cutting edge technology to drive innovation in businesses. We understand the immense potentials that these industries hold, and we are committed to harnessing this potential to bring about positive change and transformation. As we stand in a new era of exciting developments, I'd like to take a moment to highlight the EIT culture and creativity as example of one of the latest projects in which ERECAT is actively participating. Our commitment to the advancements of the culture and creative industries is reflected in the project that are pushing the boundaries of innovation in textile and audiovisual industry. These projects are not only the cutting edge of technological advancements, but they also embrace the latest trends in the culture and creative industries. In this ever-evolving escape, it is essential to stay attuned to the latest trends. We see significant shifts in consumer behavior with a growing appetite to the immersive experience, interactive content, and sustainability in fashion, architecture, and creative production. The convergence of technologies like augmented reality and artificial intelligence with culture and creativity expressions is reshaping how we experience art, entertainment, and culture. At Eurecad, we know that technology is never good or bad. It is the use that humans do what adds the value to the technology. Respect for people, cultural diversities, and their development are part of the values of the te our technology center. We believe that technology has a decisive role in social well-being and resilience to climate change. As example of this commitment is our participation in this AAT culture and creativity, and also the celebration of the second edition of Cassandra, the international conference that will be held from November 13 to 15, and which aims to provide scientific, technological, and socio-political answers to the effects of climate change on migration, health, on gender inequity and, uh, in Africa and Mediterranean area. Let us continue to learn from each other, collaborate, and envision a future where culture and creativity drive innovation to and enrich our lives. Eurecat is dedicated to this cause, and we look forward to sharing our expertise and knowledge with all of you. Before concluding, I would like to express my deep gratitude to all attendees and speakers who are present here today. Your presence enriches this event, and your insight contribute to the collective knowledge we are here to share. Together, we are fostering innovation, and together, we will shape a bright future for the culture and creative industries, in line with the latest trends that are shaping these sectors. Thank you, thank you for joining us today. Your presence and participation make all the difference.